everybody, welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel, and today we're going to be making something super cool. So let's go ahead and click the create button. Okay, now let's choose a sprite. Hmm, I wonder what sprite we should choose. Oh yeah, so basically what I was thinking was that when you press the button, the sprite changes color. So let's go with the button. And then let's go ahead and put that scratch cat, I guess. What? E. Okay. Now we have our scratch cat. Let's put our beautiful backdrop. And I have some in my backpack. So let's go ahead and grab one from there. I'm going to grab this beautiful, um, thumb. I don't know what's named thumb. I'm just going to name it rainbow. And then backdrop one, delete that. Okay, now we are in this backdrop. Now, let's say a uh, color button. Let's go back to the cat, and we're going to be doing a broadcast message. Well, you know this broadcast message has been going like super, uber, over popular. So. I'm thinking that we should use the broadcast message more often. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a one green flag clicked. Then I'm going to say show. I think we should add some color to this button. So let's go ahead and add some color. Oh, not that. Let's add a different color. Okay, so I'm going to do like a blendy color. Um. I'm gonna do like, yeah, kind of like that. I think I'm pretty sure I should do that. There, and now the border should be um. Hmm. Oh yeah, right. I was thinking of this. Ooh, no, not like colored. Okay, there we go. Now let's type in change. Change color. So that's the button. Now let's go back here and we can, like, we can put this here and then we can change the size. We can change it. There's like two ways that we can do it. One, we can change the size with the costume, like this grab the whole spray and then do this or two you can like change the size with this with, with this thing so i'm going to do it the old-fashioned way which is with the, the you know you just increase the size with the sprite costume okay now let's move on to this cat problem okay uh so i'm going to be removing that costume we are going to Make this bigger. Yes, that is perfect. Okay, now that we have our cat in our costumes and our sprites in our backdrop, now let's just get started on more coding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a, when this sprite clicked, we're going to add that broadcast message in. You can name it anything. I'm going to name it change color. And um, let's add some animation when we like hover our mouse over it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the set brightness effect to zero first. And then I'm going to do if, if then, no, if then or else, or if two if thens. Okay, two if thens. If equals. No. Wait. Oh, yeah, right. If touching mouse pointer, then set brightness effect to 25, probably 25. And then if not, 
touching mass pointer. Then we duplicate this to make it easier. Set brightness effect to zero. Now we have that. Let's do our broadcast now. So let's go to the cat person. After a long time, we have been waiting for you. Okay, now first we're going to show why and hide. Nope, you're not going to hide. Okay, Um, why did you just hide? Okay, now he's back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just figured out that we need to also put the go to. I almost forgot that. Haha, -ha. silly me. Okay, anyways, let's go back to the cat. Now, on this cat, we're going to go to the events, and it, and instead of when this sprite clicked, we're going to do when I received change color, which is the broadcast message that we did. So, once we receive this, then we have to do something. So, change color. So, basically, what I talked about in the starting of this project is that we're supposed to make the cat change color when we press the button. So we're going to go to the looks and drag a change color effect by 25. I'm going to probably change that to 15 because we don't want it to change a lot. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, at the beginning of the project, you see that the cat changes back. We don't need a set color effect to zero, but I'm going to put it in anyways just to make sure. Now, I think we should add a sound. So, so let's go to the sounds and drag in a sound, not this meow. We are going to be selecting a different sound. So. I think I'm going to do magic spell or magic wand or wand, like wand. Okay, wand. No, I'm going to do magic spell. Now we're going to start sound magic spell and then change color effect by 15. That means it's going to play while it changes color. So let's watch this again. Oh, it's changing color. So now we go back to normal. And now all we gotta do is, that's basically it. So I'm gonna share this project later. But for now, thanks for watching this cool project tutorial. If you wanna you, use the broadcast message more often, make sure to tell me on my channel so that I know, so I can make more tutorials about with the broadcast message. So anyways, thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any more ideas for the next for the next tutorials that you want to learn if you if you'd like and also don't forget to check all the videos on my channel so you will know more about how to animate on scratch and how to do art on scratch so anyways thanks for watching bye